this, this is cure my mind and I'm a little bit tired so let's get right down to it uh, if you type this if you get my script from backtrack 5 um, and then you get the new backtrack 5 r1 version uh, and you type this in RT uh, update RC dot D uh, and then my my script and then you put defaults and then you get this warning uh, st start run level arguments and then warning against uh, stop run level arguments the way to fix that because if you don't fix it it won't boot up my script will not boot up I don't know why it's do um, backtrack 5 is doing this and it's also telling it that it's not stable or something like that it's a bunch of bullshit so let's go fix it um, fortunately I can't show you the fix because I've already fixed it and I've already tried to do this video several times and it's become a horror scene for me um, so I'm just gonna show you the commands right as I typed them out for you so first you're gonna CD over to the folder where you placed the file at and it dot D and then well if you want to place it in there you just barely get in it just put CP uh, download my uh, first right click on my script hit the properties just showing for those that you don't want to go watch the other video uh, go to permissions and then is ex ex is executable just put the little X that's it you're done then just drag and drop and then just name it once you got it in there name it RTL uh, 8187 you would hit enter and then you copied it and that's how you place it in there so the way to fix this other thing for the rest of you people who got my script and got this error uh, first we're gonna have to remove it so update rc.df rtl a187 remove remove just like that uh, if you just got my script then you're gonna do this from fresh start you don't have to do this um, part right here just copy it over and then and then once you um once you copied it over you can start from this command that I'm gonna type in now you type in said uh, sorry I can't remember all the all the uh, commands because they're just way too many it's supposed to edit the file within the file something like that so s uh, back, uh, forward slash 3 space 5 uh, forward slash 2 space uh, 3 space 4 space 5 forward slash uh, single quote again and rtl and then you would hit enter um, basically it's a uh, space between that space between there space between the three and the five two and the three three and the four four and the five and single quote and the file that we're editing so that's pretty much the first command then you would hit enter nothing's gonna pop up don't worry um, then you would hit uh, type in basically the same thing as how I got it right there then you would type in default because I can't spell stop colon forward slash default again because I can't spell and single quote oops no wait it would be yeah zero a space one space six forward slash single quote RTL Oh, sorry, you can't see that, can you? There you go. Eight, one, eight, seven. And then you would hit enter. So basically the same as the other one. Space there, space there, uh, space there, space there, space there, and then space between the single quote and the file that we're editing. If I were to hit enter, it would mess up my fix, so... Uh, I'm not gonna type that in there. Once you got those two little commands in there, now try the up eight dash rc dot d uh, rtl eight one eight seven uh, defaults, and then you should get this with zero errors, without that first errors. Once you got that, you can actually uh, clear. Ah. Did I spell it right? Yeah, I did. 
and then you're gonna put RF uh, kill and then space and then list and then as you can see my hard and soft block for the radio frequency kill um, they're not being blocked anymore and then every single time you start up this um, your your comp your um, you boot up uh, backtrack 5 and and the VMware it should no longer be uh, on hard block if the script is still not starting up please review that maybe your the script that I gave you you didn't put it to become executable maybe you tried the th mod uh, trick I think it's a and then and then plus X or you can do the uh, 755 and then the file either one works but if for some reason it doesn't please do come back to this hit the properties go to the permissions and then is executable if you got all that done then uh, contact me see what um, why it's and why it's not booting up for you um, if, if if for some reason you're still getting blocked and you double clicked on this and you, you came over here and you clicked the RF kill and then the list still said that it was being hard blocked and um, you might have a, you might have a, a version of the chipset that another company makes other than um, Alpha and the G-Sky is the only ones that I've tested it that I know for sure that they work if you have another um, brand that uses that chipset, uh, that could be your problem. So, so please let us know what that brand is, so we can know not to get those. And well, you learned your lesson not to get those. Um, just stick to the ones that uh, we know that work. Um, please uh, prov provide them. The ones that don't work, provide them in the uh, description on the comments below. So maybe later I can fork up a little bit of money and then you know invest. And 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 to those um, and to those uh, chipsets from these other brands, and I can see why they're not working, and maybe I can develop a fix for them. Uh, other than that, um, hope you enjoyed this my script, and hope you well. It's not really my script because other people have already made it. Um, I just simply added the uh, LSBN so you can boot and and now it boots with you so you don't have to constantly keep t typing it in or click clicking on it you can just go right ahead and and into your G Sky or Alpha with the RTL 8187 uh, chipset uh, driver and um, well just let me know if you guys let me know I can be of more help to you guys um, right now I've been a little busy been doing a lot of work and uh, hopefully um, I'll get more videos out. Uh, I do. I was working on the Wi-Fi, and for some reason, it spits out an error when I do the the WPA cracking. Um, I'm gonna have to see why that is doing that. So until I'm able to completely, if not, I'll just you know show you guys the commands and stuff like that on the on the WPA uh, 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 web encrypted uh, uh, cracking. So hope you guys enjoy and. Um, uh, once again, this is Cure My Mind, and I'm saying go screw yourself because I'm going to bed.